Like, what was different in that? Why was they, why were they, like, their defense mainly? Why was it so successful? Well, there's two things. One, the, 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 the 46 defense, which is what they played, was, um, was, it, was an old defense that nobody had seen in quite some time. So it got thrown at the NFL, and, it, and, and the NFL wasn't really – NFL's a copycat league. Remember when cover two became very big? Tampa two. Tampa two. Then everybody's running Tampa two. And then the offenses started figuring out. So the, now they're running, they're running mostly safety high stuff and, and, and man underneath. So the league will figure that out. And then offensively, it's, you know, you saw in college the read option. Well, they, they brought that in. RG3 had a great year a couple years ago. Now you can't run the, really the read option. You can run a little bit of it like Russell Wilson does, but you can't run a ton of it because the NFL is ready for it now. Well, back in, in, the, in the mid 80s, Nobody was really ready for it. That was number one. So it was, it was not innovative to the point where nobody had ever seen it before, but it hadn't been seen in a long time. But most importantly, they had the best athletes in the NFL. They, they had the 11 best athletes in their positions to, to really unleash all kinds of havoc on, on the NFL. And nobody was ready for it. I mean, nobody was ready for it. Sorry, I don't have no information. What was the 46 defense? It's a, it's a defense where you cover up the center and the two guards – and then you, it's basically a six-man front. And they're, they bring a bunch of different blitzes. They roll blitzes off at, at you from all different angles. Because you cover the center, the center can't slide protection one way or the other. So you cover the center, you cover the guards, and you just create a bunch of one-on-one -on -one opportunities. And realistically, you bring more to a side than they have to block. So it was like a high, it was high risk because they had man-to-man. -man it was an incredibly high risk. And the reason they lost to the Miami Dolphins, the only reason they lost to, the, to one team is Buddy Ryan, who was a defensive coordinator, would not adjust. And basically what ended up happening is Miami ran out four wide receivers, and you had Wilbur Marshall and Otis Wilson out trying to cover wide receivers, and it was a mismatch. And because they were able to get rid of the ball quickly, and Dan Marino had a quick release, they weren't able to get to him. So you see like what Peyton Manning does now. You release four guys in the route, five guys in the route, you better be able to get rid of the football quickly. And that's what frustrates. And then eventually they covered. Well, they also covered the tight end. They put the, the the tight end was covered by an outside backer. They put the defensive end outside of the tight end. So they figured out ways to get the tight end open with pick routes and things. So eventually, one the the the, the NFL adjusted to it. But more importantly, the the athletes in, in Chicago, Wilbur Marshall left to go to the to the uh, Washington Redskins. Wilbur Marshall left to go to the uh, the the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Raiders with the Oakland Raiders. So started guys start um, Fensick retired. So you guys started you started losing guys, and eventually the 46D went away.